have something in our grasp right now. Because if New York rejects fracking and starts to build renewable energy, what will happen is, around the world, all those places like France and Bulgaria and Australia and Austria, we have shale gas in 32 countries. This Keep it free from fracking, not one well, any place in this state, if we can help it. That's what the fight is. And it is the right place to make this stand. Think about the state of New York. It's a water state, you know, from Lake Erie and Lake Ontario to the north and to the west and Lake Champlain on the eastern boundary and then all the amazing water in between, you know, Lake Cayuga, and Lake Onondaga, and, you know, all that beautiful water. Trying to keep up with the flames, Sky 4 flying at a safe distance. Meanwhile, the ground literally shaking the smaller Vela community. There's a State Department initiative called the Global Shale Gas Initiative, which is a government-to-government -government cooperation to develop shale gas in 32 countries around the world. Okay. Here in New York State, with you guys, this is where the buck stops. This is where this is going to stop. We're going to win. We, we can win this fight in New York State. The gas company still doesn't know what sparked what they're calling a flash fire at three of their gas wells at this Marcellus Shale site. There are ways to do this, and it has to start in the universities. And if you get a meeting with your president, your university president, if you can go from starting from tonight and find a way to get a meeting, go in that door, I will promise you I'll show up. And I will show up and I will try to get Mark Ruffalo to come with me. <laughs> or somebody like that. There's nobody really like that. But you know what I mean? I will bring there, I promise you tonight, tools to help implement that. And I will meet with Michael Bruno and say, you see what these people from PowerShift did? They got this to start happening. 